Good morning, this is Mission Control Houston. Thank you for joining us now for today's ISS update this Thursday, November 3rd. We're now coming to you from inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room of the Christopher C. Craft Mission Control Center, where the team seen here has been monitoring the systems aboard the station and supporting the day's activities of the Expedition 29 crew members. Leading the team here in the station flight control room today is Flight Director Dina Contella, seen here on the right-hand side of your screen, with uh, Jeremy Hansen of the Canadian Space Agency there next to her, who is serving as CAPCOM, relaying all ground messages up to the crew. Aboard the orbiting complex, Station Commander Mike Fossum and Flight Engineer Satoshi Furukawa and Sergei Volkov are in their final month aboard the orbiting complex as the Expedition 29 crew. Commander Fossum, Volkov, and Furukawa had launched to the orbiting complex aboard their Soyuz spacecraft as the Expedition 28 crew this summer on June 7. They uh, docked to the Rosviet module of the space station two days after their launch on June 9. Today, they will complete their 150th consecutive day in space with a little less than three weeks left before they return to Earth on November 21st. Meanwhile, back on Earth, the Expedition 30 crew, astronauts Dan Burbank and cosmonauts Anton Shkaplarov and Anatoly Ivanishin, who are scheduled to launch from Baikonur in Kazakhstan in a couple weeks on November 13, are at their uh, crew quarters at the Cosmonaut Hotel in Baikonur, Kazakhstan. They are in their final flow of preparations to join their crewmates there aboard the International Space Station. Today, they will be conducting a computer-based rendezvous simulation that uses a Soyuz flight-like software and exercising to maintain their fitness for their flight. The trio will join the crew aboard the station on November 16 after it docks to the complex. Meanwhile, on orbit, the expedition crew members continue to conduct scientific research and perform maintenance to their home away from home, the space station with its crew on board is now flying at an altitude of about 230 statute miles. The uh, orbiting facility is now making a northeastern track just across the North Atlantic Ocean, or has made it pass across the North At Atlantic Ocean and is now making a pass just toward the uh, southern tip of Ireland. After the crews wake up at 2 a.m. Central Time today, the expedition crew participated in the first of two daily planning conferences with ground controllers at mission control centers around the world to review the day's activities and plan for the next set of tasks. The crew will participate in another daily planning conference set just before entering its pre-sleep period a couple of hours after today's ISS update hour. The crew is then scheduled to go to bed at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. Just at the top of today's update hour, Commander Mike Fossum had participated in a live downlinked interview with local media Houston Chronicle to talk about current and ongoing science experiments aboard the space station. During this hour, Fossum will record a message for later downlinking and also stow away the camera and hardware that is used was used during this morning's media event. Meanwhile, Flight Engineer Sergei Volkov will spend much of this hour transferring supplies from the newly docked Progress cargo ship that had arrived yesterday and uh, updating the onboard inventory management system. Satoshi Furukawa is working in Node 3 uh, to swap out a failed laptop with a spare laptop and establish a connection to the related network. Earlier this morning, Commander Fossum had swapped out batteries and performed a camera check out on a couple of running science experiments, the binary colloidal alloy experiment that studies space-grown crystals and advances in manufacturing materials, and uh, the EarthCam science educational camera that allows students to study Earth observations. With the crew's upcoming departure of the complex scheduled in less than three weeks, Fossum also worked on preparations for the crew's undocking and return to Earth later this month. He and flight engineer Satoshi Furukawa spent the early morning hours of performing eye ultrasound scans as part of a human body study that helps to uh, understand the effects of long-duration spaceflight. 
Meanwhile, Volkov had worked in the Russian side of the house on a study known as Identification that investigates the dynamics of activities like yesterday's Progress cargo docking. He also spent much of the morning transferring the supplies from the Progress cargo ship that docked to the station yesterday morning on November 2nd, which also marked the 11-year uh, anniversary of the first vehicle to dock, carrying the first expedition crew to the International Space Station. Later today, Commander Fossum will perform some maintenance work to the onboard recycle filter tanks assembly of the uh, water recovery system. He'll also participate in a conference with the ground to review the station's current inventory management system and stowage. Flight engineer Sergei Volkov will wrap up the day's cargo transfer work from the progress that arrived yesterday morning and uh, perform daily routine maintenance to the Russian life support system known as SOJ. In uh, preparation of the crew's departure later this month, Furukawa will, re will be pre-packing items to be returned to Earth. By the end of the crew's workday, each crew member will have performed their daily two-hour exercise regimen. The onboard gym is equipped with a treadmill, a stationary bicycle, and the advanced resistive exercise device that simulates weightlifting here on Earth. The crew is then scheduled to go to bed at 4.30 p.m. Central Time for tomorrow's wake-up at 1 a.m. This is Mission Control Houston.